Welcome to the biggest day of the build yet. We are doing the cabinetry today. So I'm doing this intro from the car just because we are gonna be in the factory all day, so it's gonna be super loud. So I'm probably gonna to have to time-lapse most of it. Thank you so much to Paul from Galaxy Cabinets who are letting me work on the van inside their building on a Saturday with my uncle who works there. I got all hands on deck. These blokes are absolutely amazing for doing this but I'm super excited to get started. So I'm gonna head straight over to the factory. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. of the weekend another late day here just got back to my uncle's from the cabinet making factory and we had a weekend it doesn't look like a lot has really been done but we have been working tirelessly at trying to figure out all the angles um, how I'm gonna use the storage where I'm gonna put things how it's gonna work on the machinery and cut it out on the CNC so really we've had a brainstorming weekend got a lot done all the drawings are finally done I just wanted to have a quick chat to you guys because I know I've been running a lot of time lapses in the workshop but as I mentioned it is very loud in there and we are all at work we've all we're always changing our minds on what we're doing but it's coming along really well so I'll talk to you guys soon day three of the cabinetry and I'm super excited today because my uncle has come home on Friday night with all the benches cut out. So I have the kitchen here on this table, and then over here I have a floor to ceiling cupboard. And this is all made out of really lightweight material. As you can see here, it's just got some kind of like a ply finish to it, but it is about a third the weight of your regular white malamine that you would use in your household kitchens. So that's gonna be very helpful uh, for me whilst on the road and minimizing weight in the back of the van. My first job tonight, uh, before we get started with putting everything together, is I have to put these cams in all these holes within the cabinet. You insert a pin into that and then you twist in a screwdriver, kind of like what you see in an Ikea set. Um, so it's very handy for hiding any fixings on the end of any panels or cabinets. So super stoked tonight. Uh, me and my uncle Bruce are gonna be putting these together. You'll be seeing a time lapse of that. And then hopefully tomorrow when we get in the workshop, we'll be able to measure out the bench top that'll go on top of the kitchen. And then also we're gonna make the bed and the couch. So super stoked, let's get into it.
quick fast forward to the next morning, we went ahead and uh, connected all the cabinets and put them all together. As you can see, they're all in the back of the van here. We just need to do the cabinet faces and then we need to make the couch slash bed system and then fit it all into the van. So we just got to the factory this morning. I know like last time it's gonna get loud in there. I'll show you as much as possible, but this is an exciting day because everything is gonna come together real smoothly. cabinets are in and they are looking awesome uh, I have some push locks on here I'll show you everything and the features later on but what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and template out the kitchen top with the hardwood finish it's always good to template first so that then you don't get your main cut wrong because I bought a expensive piece of hardwood for the bench top so I want to make sure that it's the right fit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while my uncle is currently working on the lid for the fridge box and also some shelving over here. So let's keep going. was a long three or four days. Two weekends of being in the workshop with my uncle and Paul and they have done an absolutely amazing job helping me out with this cabinet work. We are back at the house. Everything is in the van. Even the walls are done. So let's take a quick look and see how functional this really is. Here we have it. Have a look how amazing this looks. The walls are done. The cabinets are in. The couch and bed system is in and I am chuffed. First thing I want to look at is this bed system and it looks unreal. We went with a mocker finish on the bed because it kind of divides the kitchen area from the lounge. Let's quickly have a look at how functional this is and how this turns into a bed. So all you simply do is lift up the bed itself, fold it over and 
bang we are in bed mode hey, look at that that is 1900 long and a meter wide that is plenty of space for a mattress to go on which i will have to later on cut out and manufacture for the couch as well as you can see on both walls to my left and also to my right we have strips of the hardwood bench top that were left over so i've gone ahead and put them on the walls as a nice little feature I did make this box over the wheel well. That's gonna be really functional as well. I might be able to sit um, some tools and things for my bike because my bike is going to sit just to the left-hand side of that wheel well and there'll be a bracket up on this cabinet. We have a nice long bench top that's about 1600 long and a nice space underneath for storage that was just a nice floating bench top feature that we came up with. We have the floor to ceiling cabinet on the right hand side. Every second shelf is a permanent fixing. And then we have over to my left the fridge which is in and operational. I did do a video review on this fridge so you'll have to make sure you check out my channel that'll be coming up soon. And then we have a nice cheeky little hatch door here. So this is a half hatch door. And as you can see, that houses all my electrical components and then also has a bunch of storage. I do have some nice features on the cabinetry door. We do have pop locks here, which are very handy for keeping these cabinets nice and sturdy. What I'm going to do is eventually put a sink on this left hand door. Um, and then that'll give me room on the right hand side and the left hand side for cooking and and such and underneath this cabinet I will have my water storage and my plumbing going down into grey water underneath the van So all in all I could not be happier with this cabinetry build It has really made the van feel like home already Once again an absolute huge shout out to Paul from Galaxy Cabinets in Caloundra I'll put all his details in the video description below and my uncle Bruce and Aunt Cherie for letting me stay at their house and use their facilities because they have an awesome man cave at the garage and my uncle is an absolute genius with cabinetry work as you can see so that episode is finally done it was a long one thank you for tuning in once again if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time next job is the roof stay tuned and try something new